Let's take a look at the chart action for Shiba Inu. Alright, so I haven't really been talking about this coin, but I have actually kind of speculated on it a little bit. Here's what I'm looking at. Okay, so we got this big run going on right now with Shiba. I'm kind of curious what's going to happen right now, and I got a couple things that we're going to look at here in a minute. But let me show you when I entered and what I was kind of thinking. So we had some support right here. We had some support right here. We were basically, I thought that this was pretty much the bottom. So what I did is once we broke this trend line going to the downside to the up right there, I put in an order somewhere around here. Basically this pink line right there. And then we, we were trending on this uptrend right there. We broke through this channel going to the upside right there. And I put in another order right there. These are just $10 orders. I wasn't really sure. I didn't want to make videos about this because I wasn't, I don't know. I don't really know too much about this coin. I just kind of speculated on it. It seemed like it was kind of trending. So I threw in another 10 bucks and it just started running. So after that, I've just kind of been letting it go. But right now what I'm looking at is if we go into the, we're, we have this big uptrend like this. And what I'm looking at, I just kind of took profits because I had just a big old nice run. And I don't really know too much about Shiba. And if we go to the RSI, you can see on the one hour time frame, we have a bearish divergence. The RSI is trending down. The price is trending up. If we go to the four hour time frame, same thing. RSI is trending down. Price is trending up. Let's take a look at the daily time frame. The daily looks pretty crazy. So I don't know. I mean, the daily is still pretty low in the RSI as far as the RSI goes. I mean, it's pot. I mean, we can be going up here possibly. Like I said, I pretty much got out, but what I'm looking at right now is if we go to like a four hour time frame or like the one hour time frame, this is one of those cases where we can get kind of more in into the lower time frames, I think, because I mean, it's just moving so fast. So what I'm looking at right now is we have resistance right here, resistance right here. I'm looking at a downtrend, something like this. Until we break this downtrend going to the upside, I'm assuming that we're in a downtrend pretty much. And we're actually, I'm assuming that we're in a, a pattern. And I don't know if we're going to the upside or to the downside. Like I said, we have those bearish divergences on the four hour and the one hour. So it's possible that we get a retracement. If we do, let's delete everything. I pretty much don't need those levels anymore because I pretty much took profit already. All right, let's delete everything. If we do a Fibonacci retracement from the bottom of this trend to the top we have a wick that goes all the way up here let's do a Fibonacci retracement so we'll get the Fibonacci tool drag from the bottom to the top something like that and maybe we can look for the 38% level and the 50% level for possible bounces uh, so it looks like we're already breaking through that 50% level what I would look at now is maybe the 61% level sitting around 00001468 something like that or maybe even come down to 1185 those are the last four numbers so i'd probably be looking at that in general though i'd be looking at also this downtrend something like this if we could break this downtrend going to the upside i might throw in another five bucks or something we've went so far though i don't know i don't really i'm i'm kind of not sure about this we could maybe do a bottom maybe something like this we could watch this big uptrend and this downtrend. If we go to the upside, that'll be a good sign. Maybe we can target the previous resistances. If we go to the downside, maybe target the previous supports if you're really bullish on Shiba in you. I'm not really sure. If we break to the upside, I might throw a small order in, but if we go to the downside, I'll probably just wait until we kind of bottom out like we did before, something like that. But that was a pretty sweet trade from there to like up here, something like that. That was pretty awesome. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going, though. We might be able to make a little bit more. I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm not going to put in a lot of money. Like I said, I put put in 10 bucks down here because I wasn't sure. And I might even just put in five if, I, if we break up here. I don't even know if you can put a, put in five. But if you can, I will. But if not, then I'll, I'll just probably stay out of this one. But pretty cool. Here's a screen of my orders on this just to let you guys know that I'm not just making it up. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out my other accounts in the description. Stay up to date. Also, make sure to hit that thumbs up button.